So in this video, we're gonna get some uh, intake air temperatures differences between like uh, pretty much the new setup with the velocity stack with the three inch intake. Then I'm gonna be installing the short ram intakes, just a two and a half pipe with the filter on. And then I'm gonna be adding, after that, uh, seeing the temperature for a cold air intake, which I'm gonna route through the engine and down by the fender here, slash bumper. So, I'm gonna try to do three different temperature readings with temperatures around 54 degrees, as you can see. So, it's about 9 p.m. And I'm gonna try to get three different temperature readings from the uh, velocity stack, front intake setup, the short ram intake, and the cold air intake. So the only thing that can be different is the velocity stack it doesn't have a filter, obviously, but. But I'm gonna go drive around and start taking these different temperature readings so you can kind of see the differences between the temperatures yourself. Like I said, nighttime, 54 degrees. We'll see what it is. Pretty much blocked out the, the um, three inch hole that I had made for the velocity stack. So no airflow is going to go in there. So just try to simulate stock air filter settings or a short ram intake settings here. So like I said, we'll see what the intake temperatures are for this one. Two and a half inch with um, short ram intake uh, and a filter. This is all done with the stock location, the air intake air temperature and the stock location. So as you can see, the at idle with the two and a half inch short ram intake with a filter, uh, intake air temperatures are around 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, it's already warmed up. Um, operating temperature and then it's at idle right now. Uh, we'll go cruise around at a steady speed and then see how much it drops down. Intake air temperatures were able to get dropped down to like 105, 106-ish. So it's like a 15 degree drop. So I noticed that I was only doing around maybe 10 to 15 percent throttle, which most of the cruises were around that percentage anyway. So um, even a higher uh, TPS, like to the throttle position, um, would bring down the temperature even lower. So I'm sure on average it would probably be like a 15 degree maybe 20 degree difference at a higher uh, throttle uh, opening so pretty much that's what it is a two and a half inch short ram intake it brought it down to 105 106 from 120 at idle so as you can see it's going back at idle to 120 ish so there's a difference with a two and a half inch with a um, short ram intake with an air filter two and a half inch cold air intake right behind the fender slash bumper here there's an air filter so there you have it we're gonna go see the intake air temperatures so right now the vehicle is idling intake air temperatures are uh, 110 and the vehicle is already up, up at operating temperature so uh, I'm gonna cruise it down right now this is with the two in two and a half inch uh, cold air intake with the air filter behind the bumper and fender so I'm gonna cruise it around at steady speeds and see what the temperatures are get down to. Fourth gear cruise. Uh, temperatures were able to go down to mid 90s, high 90s. So uh, it's not bad for steady cruising. It's almost like a 10 degree difference. So they said so this is a three inch intake setup right now, just mocked up, testing it out. So I'm gonna get rid of uh, this piping here and just have this one here and just have a long coupler attached to this, make it more simpler instead of all these bands. Probably just wrinkle paint this. But for now, that's the three inch cold air velocity um, intake. See the intake air temperature for the three inch intake pipe with the velocity stack it's around at idle right now it's sitting around 100 degrees Fahrenheit so at cruising speeds it was sitting around 85 90 
So once I picked up some speed around 50, 55 miles an hour, it drew, it drew more air in the air velocity stack and dropped the temperatures down to 78, 80 degrees. So the higher speeds, the more air you draw in, straight into the velocity stack and cool, cooler temperatures means denser air, so more power. So. everything is pretty much like a 15 degree I'm sure more like a 20 degree at wide open throttle but I don't want to go any wide open throttle especially because it's like late at night and this will be like all loud you know like bang, all over the place so I don't want to wake people up if obviously they're probably sleeping so um all this was done like a low throttle uh, cruise speeds so it's like a 10 15 degree difference from idle and um, um, cruising speeds like I said so idle, idle temperatures for the three inch with the, with the velocity stack was around 100 degrees. Um, cold air intake two and a half inch was around 110. Short ram with the two and a half inch intake was uh, 120. So it was all uh, about a 10 degree difference at idle. Cruising speeds was uh, a drop of around 10, 15 degrees. So I would believe like at wide open throttle would possibly even be like a 20 25 degree difference who knows maybe like just a 20 degree but i'm just maybe estimating but yeah that's all done at night time around 11 p.m with uh temperatures around 50 55 degrees outside um no humidity so it's around fall october um the month of october so it's all cool weather so here it is the pipe three inch pipe intake that I bought originally by Bafai. Then I had bought a 45 degree intake three inch pipe with a long coupler here with a velocity stack straight in. So I want to try to do this to learn something new with um, obviously the colder the air, the more dense it is. The more dense means more air molecules into the motor for the combustion chamber. So an increase of horsepower. Um, I don't know exact values, percentages of gains, but I'm sure there's some calculators out there but, um, to get estimates, but like I said, this is just a, an estimate and I want to see, like I said, what the intake air temperature difference is between the intakes themselves, so you guys do research yourselves for the horsepower increase in between temperatures, I'm sure there's something out there for that, but like I said, I just, it's a simple video to understand simple uh, intake air temperatures between the intakes setups in these uh, with my CRX. So that pretty much sums it up for the intake air temperatures with this video. I hope you guys learned something. I mean, I pretty much learned a little bit something new too. I mean, I figured it would be a difference for sure, but at least we actually know the numbers. So at least you know, in case you ever want to upgrade from a short ram, cold oh, cold air intake, or actually like velocity stack with the, like I said, uh, engines for the front of the headlights. So now you know the intake air temperature uh, differences between all those if you ever want to modify your vehicle there's some tech info for you guys uh, I said all this kind of stuff is useful so at least try to get the most power out of everything especially like I said it's an all motor setup uh, mild build nothing crazy so trying to make the most power out of it so like I said uh, thanks for watching hope you guys like this video subscribe hit the notification bell and I'll see you guys soon Thank you.